In the previous lesson, we discussed what a conjugate acid-base pair is. Just to refresh your mind, when an acid donates a proton, it gives away a proton, it forms a conjugate base. So what's left over is what we call a conjugate base. So in this example, HCl donated a proton, it became Cl minus, that's the leftover piece once it gave away the proton, and we call that the conjugate base. So acid, conjugate base, that's one pair. Then the base forms a conjugate acid. So the base accepts a proton, this base, H2O, accepts a proton, it forms H3O+, plus, making it a conjugate acid. So a base becomes a conjugate acid. So let's do these two examples. I want you to pause the screen, try it, and then I will mark it with you. So identify the conjugate acid base pairs in the following reactions. So I want you to try these two quickly. Pause the screen, see if you can do it. So the way that we do this is we pair up the different pieces of the reaction. So here, here we've got NH3, and we can see that it became NH4+. Over here, I've H2O water, and I can see that it became OH minus. So how did NH3, that's not written very nicely, NH3, how did that become NH4 plus? What happened to NH3? It must have gained a proton. I hope you can see that. If I add an H plus to NH3, it forms NH4 plus. What that means is NH3 accepted a proton. That makes NH3 my base. So my base is NH3. Once it accepted the proton, it formed the conjugate acid, NH4+. Plus. So that's my first pair. That is pair number one. What you can also do is you can link them up or join them up with an arrow and you can do this. So a lot of textbooks and study guides and teachers do this. This one is what we call base one, and this is therefore acid number one. Base and conjugate acid. Then, if NH3 is my base, NH3 accepts a proton, that's why it's my base, it accepts the proton, it forms NH4+, plus. that means that H2O in this case is my acid, acid two. The reason I'm calling it acid two is because I already called this one acid one. So my acid is water, H2O, and when, remember, acids are proton donors. So when it donates a proton, when H2O gives away an H+, what will be left once it gives away one of its H's? It's just going to be one H left, you can see over there. And it's going to have a charge of negative one. Why? Because when you give away a positive thing, you become negative. So H2O forms OH-, minus. this is the conjugate base or base two. So the conjugate base is OH minus. What about number two? Well, number two, this is ethanoic acid or acetic acid. It's a weak acid for those of you that don't know that. And you can see that this, the ethanoic acid, becomes this. Those little pieces are matched up together. So I'm already going to draw my arrow in like that. And then this over here, H2O. And this, those go together. So those need to be linked up. So what's going on here? I already called this ethanoic acid or acetic acid, but we can see that this is an acid. Why? Because acids are proton donors. And you can see the CH3, COOH, must have donated or lost an H+, plus because it forms CH3COO-, the, the one H is now gone, and it's got a charge of minus one. So the acid forms the conjugate base, which is CH3COO minus. So we can call this acid number one and base number one. So they both have a one because they both belong to the same pair. That means that in this case, water is my base. So I'm going to call it base two. The only reason I'm calling water base two is because it's in my second pair. My base is water. And remember, bases are proton acceptors. Once this gets a proton, an H+, plus, it's going to form H3. O plus. So my conjugate acid is H3O plus. So base two and acid two. I hope this has helped. Please check out the playlist link below for more acid base videos. Bye everybody.